Hey, what is happening, folks? It is Jimmy G in the place to be, bringing you back another great episode of The Good, The Bad, The Awesome, where we unbox, give my first reaction of all things pop culture, mainly Star Wars, Transformers, anime, all sorts of stuff. So if you like that kind of stuff, just hit that like and subscribe button and get notified when we have new videos. So today, we are gonna have another Jujutsu Kaisen battle, and this time with Nobara Kugasaki. So, Anime Heroes versus SH Figure Arts. Which one reigns supreme? Which one should you get? And why do both of them exist? So let's find out together. Here she is, folks. Nobra Kugasaki from my favorite anime right now, Jujutsu Kaisen. And so we're going to be looking at that SH Figure Arts figure here. We just got done looking at Megami. We had a Megami battle. We, were, we had a gojo battle now we're gonna have a nobra battle we're gonna have a battle with the anime heroes nobra then we're gonna tell you which one i think is the best bang for your buck but here is the figure arts and if you haven't seen my anime heroes nobra i'll put a link in the bottom in the description so that way you could watch that but we will look at this one but i love it love this package we've seen these packages before really really cool they come with some really cool accessories and things like that uh, and so i'm really excited to open this one up and if you don't know much about nobra she's a she's a year one jujitsu high student uh, her curse technique is the straw dog technique which basically she has a hammer nails and a straw like a almost looking like a voodoo doll type of thing uh, that she can basically cause damage to people using those things and focusing her cursed energy into that and you'll get a history of her in the link description down below but let's take a look and open this box up and get nobra out and compare her to her anime heroes counterpart and out of the box and on my table here they both are so we have the SH Figure Arts and the Anime Heroes Nobara Kugugasaki. Now, the SH Figure Arts one I picked up at Yamacon from Utopia Toys and Models. Thank you again, Utopia Toys and Models. If you don't know who they are, I'll put a link down below. You should visit them. They're an awesome store that has lots of anime merch. Um, so I picked them up at Yamacon. You can pick her up from anywhere from $40 to $75, just depending on where you shop. Anime Heroes is going to be about $20. Bucks. Sometimes you can find it on sale for about $15. So different price points with different kind of levels of articulation and uh, comfort and joy, so to speak. So what you get with the Anime Heroes one, you get two sets of hands here. You also get the straw doll and you get the hammer and the nails there. So, um, so you get that. With the SH Figure Arts, you get a lot more. You get one, two, three sets of hands with an extra hand there. You also get the hammer, two extra faces. And so let's show you what those faces kind of look like right there. There's one beautiful face there. She is always angry. She always looks angry. There's the second one right there uh, with her kind of like evil smile that she has and then this one right here with her war face her her cry you know her scream right there so uh so you get those faces uh, and this extra head um but no straw doll which i'm surprised because that's a big part of her curse technique so sh figure arts dropping the ball on the straw doll i'd love you to include that but you know what's great i got the anime heroes one so i can easily bring this one over here if i want to uh, on those things with the anime heroes one the hammer is removable too as well so you can do that and so let's bring them in for a closer look and that way you can kind of see from the facial kind of just how it looks. And again, the animation accurate look here of the figure arts one just wins out hands down. The anime heroes one is a bit taller. You can kind of see there. Uh, but the face, again, not as much detail as you would normally see. Right there, you can kind of see that. It's got a little bit of glossiness to it, too, as well. Uh, but uh, overall, I still, again, the feel from them, they, they both feel really good, but this feels a bit more premium. Uh, so as you look at the face there, it just has a more premium feel there. Uh, I do love the fact that this has the heart on the hammer. They both do have the heart on the hammer there. And we'll bring, let me put these down. We'll pull these hammers closer uh, so you can kind of see them. 
Uh, there they are. Uh, boop. There we go. Let me put it into frame, Jimmy. Uh, but there they are, both the hammers. This one's more of a flexible plastic, where this is a hard one. Um, I do like this hammer a bit better. I wish the uh, the the paint job was a little bit better here on the heart, whereas this one does have a bit better heart looking on that. But overall, still SH Figure Arts, um, you're winning hands down. So I'm going to move Anime Heroes to the side. We've done an articulation on her before. We're going to do articulation on this Nobra. And as you've seen before with Figure Arts figures, you have some really great articulation. The neck here is not articulated like on some of the other ones but that's okay uh you have maybe some yep you got it right there there it is right there so it's in the suit that's kind of cool arm again you've got all sorts of movement that you can do uh more than a 90 degree you have twist right here at the uh, bicep area. You also have the twist here as well. This is on a ball. Uh, you do have the upward ab crunch right there that can move side to side, but that is the only ab crunch you get uh, with this one here. So unlike the other figures that have deeper ab crunch, now the skirt here, it is a soft plastic. Now, something you will need to do is kind of get a rag and clean up this kind of powdery stuff here, uh, kind of from the factory. Uh, you'll need to clean that up. Uh, but from a movement standpoint, you really can't do the splits much. I mean, the skirt does split, uh, but it kind of looks a little funky. Uh, but you can get that out if you want to, but I think we will not. Um, more than a 90 degree bend there, uh, foot on a ball. You also have this doohickey right there too as well. And you have the twist at the leg. So just like most figure arts figures, you do have a lot of posability and that arm. I mean, you just get this, you just get a lot you can do uh, with these figures. Uh, so, and they stand pretty good on their own. Now, this one right here, uh, you can pop again, if you want to pop the face off, you just pull that off, pull the face off, and we can put on a different face. You want to just make sure that it lines up with the bottom holes because the top holes is for the hair. Uh, and then we'll pop the hair back on. And you got now her angry face. She's got her angry face on. And then again, the hands do pop off on the ball. You want to be careful with that too as well. And we'll, we'll pop those on and off as we do some poses later on uh, with Nobra on that. So let's bring the camera back down show you from a height standpoint let's bring in wesley snipes my blade here and so you can kind of see how tall she is compared to wesley snipes on that so for for i mean for anywhere from 50 to 75 dollars you get a lot of accessories but one thing i do wish it came with is the straw doll uh part on that the other thing that would have been cool was to, to have her uh, cartoon hammer that you saw in the uh, student, like the school exchange uh, arc in Jujutsu Kaisen Season 1. Now, we will get into some spoiler territory probably a little bit later, but um, but so far, again, she's a really cool character. She started growing on me. At first, I thought she was annoying, uh, but she really did start growing on me. And uh, very, I mean, just a very good friend to Yuji, which is awesome. And um, yeah, but that is it. So let's do this. Let's get her standing up and compared to a few other figures. Now, something I did forget to show y'all. I just want to make sure to show y'all. We didn't show you the back. She does have this little backpack here, just like on the back of the Anime Heroes doll. You know, just the from a screen accuracy. Very good. Very awesome. I do, you know, you can't help seeing these joints, uh, but I do like how the SH Figure Arts hides the joints better. You can kind of see them on this guy, whereas you don't see it on her right there. And you can see the joints there versus here on that. So, but I did forget to show you that and now i got her with her screaming face and her different head on and with the hammer and all that kind of stuff in her hand so let us now show you other characters here is all the nobra kugasakis that i do have we have the figure arts mini one anime heroes and of course the sh figure arts one so let us bring in a few other characters right now 
So here are a bunch of the characters that I do have, just to kind of show you from a comparison size standpoint. We, of course, have the SH Figure Arts one, Anime Heroes, Kugasaki, Figure Arts Mini one. And then we have her Figure Arts counterparts here with Fushiguro and Gojo. 5-inch Demon Slayer, Gyu Tomioka, 3.7 uh, Ahsoka, Starscream G2 right there, Spawn, and, of course, Black Series Cobb Vanth on those. And so I think, honestly, when you pull these guys out, Let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Let's get you all out of here, out of here, out of here. When you look from a scale standpoint, Figure Arts, I think they did a really good job at scaling these together. I think she's a little too tall. She shouldn't be tall. She is shorter than Yuji and Fushiguro, and Gojo is just a tall dude. So uh, I think they did a really good job with the scale on these. And so Anime Heroes, I think you scale well with your counterparts in Anime Heroes, whereas SH Figure Arts, they did a pretty good job there in making sure that scale happens. And so let's move her kind of to the center. And we got Fushigiro and Gojo, the three of them. All we're missing is Yuji. That's the next one. Yuji is my next review with the Yuji battle that's going to be coming up. And so uh, this is an awesome trio right here. So let's get together for my final thoughts and tell you kind of what I think of both, which one you should get, which one you should stay away from, or should you get both and who they're targeted to. So which one do I like better? We have the Anime Heroes one right here and we have the SH Figure Arts one right here. And this is the way I will keep this one. Which one is better? Of course, this one's gonna be a lot better. Uh, now, the things that are my gripes about this one is you can see those joints a whole lot a whole lot better uh more than you can see in some of the other ones but anime heroes has a place there's a lovely place for anime heroes you got 20 bucks you want a great figure get this one you get it you get enough accessories i wish this came with the sh figure arts one i wish it came with the straw dog uh not straw dog the straw doll so you can do the straw doll technique with it but it does not but what it doesn't have there it comes with much more you get an extra head you get an extra faces you get all sorts of stuff you get more posability uh when i was posing him and stuff this one kept falling this one did not and so between the two let's see if i can get them focused in which one do you like which one do you like better i'm gonna say it's gonna be this one but there's always a place for this. this one looks like she's tired she's been she's been around and she's been up a lot this one looks ready for battle so we got her she's ready for battle so uh on a scale of good bad awesome we're gonna give an awesome to this nobra kugasaki um Again, anime heroes, you can't go wrong with them. They got they, they have a special place in my heart because they're cheap. And back in the day when I couldn't afford SH Figure Arts, anime heroes was gonna be the one to get. And that's what I love. They, they have more articulation than Star Wars figures. Uh, and Star Wars figures cost about the same. Uh, so Hasbro, listen up, get some articulation, more articulation, you can do it. Uh, but the Figure Arts ones, if you can afford them, you definitely should get it. So Nobra, you can pick her up anywhere from 40 to 80 bucks. Thank you again, Utopia Toys, for making, let me get this from you all at your booth at Yamakon. Uh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Now, they, they, they are awesome. This is awesome. We're gonna, we're gonna come back. We're gonna have our final Figure Arts, final Figure Arts Anime Heroes battle with Yuji Itadori. I saved one of the best for last. So we got the first, which was Gojo. He's one of the best. And I think Yuji's gonna be one of the best there too as well. So tune in for that. But in the meantime, y'all remember, stay young, have fun, be awesome. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now.